Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good to see you guys. It's 2024. Can you Is believe it? it? Are you sure? Uh, I'm sure, goodness. man. Couldn't it happened come soon enough. Yep, man. You know how we say it's happening? It happened. Yeah. You know, before something just hit, remember, what's that show? What's that movie with the Eddie Murphy where they bet a dollar? That's Trading, trading places. Spaces. Trading Places. I want to let everybody know. Places. So this is true. Oh. Sarah it says you're number one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes my customers walk by and go, I'll bet you. Oh. I have the dollar. I'm was that the first that was that the first customer to bet you? No, there's many customers. That's just over there. I got another dollar hanging up over there. So I only bet a dollar. Yes. That's it. Just a dollar. That was Mortimer. That was Mortimer. That's Mortimer. Correct. I'm just Mortimer. saying, you know, I only bet a dollar. It was the Dukes. It was the Dukes. Dukes. That's right. The Dukes of Earl. Don't but you yeah. like sure bets? Don't you like sure bets, FOMO? I got a sure bet for you. Ooh. 2024 is the year of the monster. Oh! oh. oh. That's a good one. Good call. Are you going to put a dollar on it? Yeah, I, yeah I'll, put, I'll put a dollar on it. You're, you're the monster. Hey, what's this? I ain't betting you. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pro monster. You're pro monster. Yes. I support the monsters. So. Yes, you are. You're, so you're a monster yeah, yourself. Monster. We're all a monster, right? Very cool. Good stuff, man. Let me go. Got some comments of people saying happy new. It's going to be a monstrous 2024. Oh, he stole that There's word. Will. That's right. There's my. That's Cheesehead right there. That is the Cheesehead. Oh, that yeah. He said. He snaps you for some from auctions and stuff like that right there. Good evening. Point. Good evening, Janice. Good to see you. Happy New Year to you down there in South America. Columbia, appreciate you. Susie QB, yes. Wishing you a happy and blessed, healthy year. Thank you and prosperous. Absolutely. Right on. Yep, Janice, good to see you again. And Jason, happy New Year, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. Good to see you. Night Owl, happy New Year. It is going to be a monstrous year. Appreciate when we were going through some music. You're giving the emojis. Thank you, thank you. There's Apex. Yo, it is the year of the monsters. Right on, Apex. Uh, crushing it, bro. So, what are you guys? What are you guys going to talk about? I think FOMO, or uh, I think a couple of you guys. I came, I came to learn. I came to oh. learn from FOMO. Right. I heard I mean, strategy. I mean, we were going strategy I session. I actually forgot today was Monday. I did not prepare at all. What are you? Doing? <laughs> what <is> this? <laughs> this guy. Why can't you guys take a joke? Oh, I was laughing. Look at him. He's so good. He is. No, I didn't prepare. I, know. I wake up prepared. You remember the speech this morning? Oh, yeah. You wake up four hours before everybody else. I heard all about it. Yeah, I don't get before it. You got to wake it is, up. I'm from, I've never not seen you prepared. You you get after it, man. It don't oh, matter what time, what what time of day. Doesn't matter if it's the weekend. Um, You there, right? And you I did awesome. challenge the uh, snow monster to join us. I'm still waiting for one of the snow monsters to join us. Remember we were on the space the other day, gray light, the uh, YouTube yeah. show, YouTube, yeah. right? Yeah. We we're talking and somebody picked up Lake Placid oh. and then somebody backed it up with uh, Stowe. Look at this. Is this from memory? I'm paying it. I'm not looking at anything. There's yeah. no notes. All of a sudden we're chilling along. Some little monster comes along, takes Lake Placid right off the top. Oh, then they took Cooperstown first. Boom, Cooper off the map. Town. While we're talking, we're giving the alpha. Then he took Snow. Then he took Killington. Boom, boom, boom. So that person uh, is going to be joining us today, too, to Ooh. discuss. Yes, he's going to join us live. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. Mr. FOMO had put some feelers out. He has, you know, he has access to the NSA, FBI, oh. and uh, some other people, and the Clintons. The Clintons. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Clinton put right. a contract out on that guy. They want to know who's scanned. So That's I just want to let you know, it's powerful. So we're gonna go to uh, Monstermind.city. Monstermind.city. Oh, let, let me get my sheet screen over here. I'm gonna go over there and look. Remember, I'm just dropping a little bit, Alpha. Don't get crazy. I told you, I'm not. I hear you. It. Well, it is. It's the strategy session. We're gonna be doing this a lot. Strategy. First, yeah. Hey, I'm not, oh. Hold on. Monstermind.city. It's uh right there. I got it. Bam. Monster my dot city that is the site you need to go there a lot of people think it's dot coms no it is dot city so if you're watching right. it dot city. i'd like you to head over the mint please the mint mint, mint. let me go there. And, and and go ahead and prepare yourself for the dot coms and the dot orgs and the dot mint and all this stuff like make sure you've got this bookmark this is the site the site will never change or never be any kind of stealth mint or anything like that going on so Make sure you go ahead, visit the site, bookmark it. That way you've got it saved. And because scams are going to be coming, 
not just for the monsters, but yeah. all projects during the bull. It's going to get crazy again. And if you haven't done it yet, research a hardware wallet. Go ahead and put it in your calendar. Do it this weekend. Do some research into a hardware wallet and get your assets locked up, as Tim always likes to say. Lock it up. Yep, and and the most common ones are treasure and ledger. Not gonna you know say which one, but those are the two top ones, right? Go for it, FOMO. Look at the look. I see uh, Coops, Sailor of Fortune, um, Rate Rock Rocker P. Uh, so there's some people throwing you know some codes out there. Look at that. Right. Yeah. So can I get a little scroll down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going well. First of all, we're just gonna scroll down. There we go, right here. Let's stop at Killington. Stowe, Lake Placid. Let's just yeah. talk about those three, sir. So the gentleman or lady who got those, mm. they had something going on, like they might ski. Oh. Okay? They might be on the East Coast. So Killington's a ski slope, so, so plus Lake Placid is a huge ski slope, and it's beautiful. So once I seen those three coming out together, I knew the person had something going on. So that's going to be an experience. Maybe it's called the skiing experience, East Coast. Maybe uh, we could set something up on the Monster Global Network that I have a sense is coming, oh. where things are going to be like a little travel, a little travel. Mm. So imagine, just I want you guys to paint the picture. Just imagine. Yes. So imagine on the uh, Opus app, right? Mm. You know when you look on there, you can see everybody with the smart ID? You can yes. see what's going on? Yes. So imagine we went to these mountains and said, you know, we have, an, we have a, uh, I don't know, we have an app. And it has uh, how many people? Just throw me a number, Ray. Like, what are you thinking? On the map? Yeah, like, what do you know? Six months from now, would throw me a number of people on Opus AI. Throw me Maybe, a number. Say 50,000. 50,000 people. So you actually have a, I don't know, let's call it an organization, a shopping yeah. organization. Sure. So you can say to a ski slope, hey, would you be willing uh, to give a 5 to 10% discount on uh, lift tickets? And maybe ten percent in the in the uh, for hot chocolate and the other stuff in the uh, snack bars. So, so that's the goal. The goal is to build, build, build on top, on top, on top. And then as we move, we have power. Now you said what? You say fifty thousand? I say oh yeah, fifty thousand. Maybe year. more. Maybe more, FOMO. Throwing it out there. Say a year. Oh year. I'm sure we're you know maybe talk talk maybe a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Okay, two years. We're in the millions, I think. Okay, so two years, just like let's let's be be general. We have two million uh, acting participants on the monster. Uh, excuse me, on the OPEX Opus the AI uh, app. Yes. Now you move with power. Mm. Now those sites, you have. I uh, would say, hey, would you like to uh, sign a deal? Would you like to uh, give our members a discount? Now we're mm. moving in sequence. What about That's restaurants, Ray Light, Judge? Yes. Yeah. What about restaurants? You're moving that group of people. Hey, would you like – so now, does anybody know what the rewards network is? The, yeah, of course. What do you mean? Credit cards? Credit uh, cards? No, yes, you yes, you have a credit card. Yes. You sign up for – you get, you register it because you yeah. want rewards. Right. And then when you go to that restaurant, the server doesn't even know that you mm -hmm. belong to the Roy. They do not know. They just – they just scan your credit card and you get money back. Okay. That's mm -hmm. the best advertisement ever. You're not just shooting it out there. So just imagine if we do that to Killington Snow and Lake Placid. Mm. What, right. if you, what if you have skiers on the East Coast and they have choices to go skiing, but they say, hey, I'm going to go to Killington because they get 15% off because the Killington wants our members. Right. They want our group to go to Killington. And then Killington has amazing uh, stamp because mm -hmm. the person owns Killington and a bunch of other people get together. And we have Killington as a stamp or a check-in. Right? So when right. they go check-in, activity. Remember how we do a check-in? Sure. You know, yeah. And we get a stamp and then all the creativity. What about totally just tracking what, they, what they're able to do when they really come in and check in and, and go ski? So, so let's say Killington, right? Is that all it's known for? Is skiing like in the summer? Do they go hiking? Is there is there people I that go? I do not know the answer. Okay. I just know well, let's it. say yeah. let's say that that because I'm I'm used to Colorado. They do do that, right? Right. Um, when you go skiing, that would be a great cause for maybe them to come back. Maybe they would get half off and do all the things since they're big skiing, right? Snowing uh, during the winter. Maybe it would be an invite back during the during the summer, and right. they get to explore and do all the trails there too. 
because they've been going through and always going on the uh, the resort and up the uh, you know the lifts and things like that. Yeah. Right. So then I'll even back it up there. You know, Killington has a patch. Wow. You know, you know, you got a ski jacket. You have a patch. Yep. How cool would it be to have a patch on you? You know, your little snow jacket, and it's a Killington monster. And then everybody's like, "Hey, what's with the monster? You follow me now?" Yeah. I and now, now it starts getting out. Hey, I got a Killington monster. Hey, I see you got a snow uh, badge on top of the Lake Placid, a Killington. You know what I'm saying? You know yeah. when you you know the back of a motorhome. You know how back of a motorhome going down the road. Yeah. You got all these stamps on the back of the motorhome. Yep. I'm just giving an example. There is no end to creativity when it comes to these monsters. No, absolutely. If you're planning on something. Do not just be limited or just your creativity as to the city. Think of merch. Think of swag. Think of check-ins. Everything you can think about. Now, if you don't ski, let me go backwards. If you don't ski and you hate snow and you hate the cold, figure out what's passionate for you. Like if beaches are beaches for you, then stick to the beaches. Okay, it can be somebody. Else. Does that make sense, Ray? Yeah. Well, maybe the family likes skiing, but you can be in with the s'mores, right? Your hot chocolate. Read a book. Let everybody go skiing, right? Now, what's that? Um, anybody know that hiking trail that's really famous? It goes the Appalachian up, Trail. That's correct. Yeah, that would be us. Yeah. You're right. What do you mean? You that the Appalachian Trail goes to uh, Georgia? right where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. I won't go too where deep. Where does it go? Yeah, all the way from the, the top of Georgia, all the way up to the New England area where Tim is. Okay, so yeah. let's talk about – and that just came to me. I'm just I'm just knocking it off. Imagine the Appalachian Trail with different signage as you go across the trail, and you're actually checking in. And every time you check in, they'll know exactly where you are mm. and how long it's taking you to get from one point to the second point. And then anybody you're, anybody can find you on that. You, you take a picture, you snap it, send it to your family. They know exactly where you are, latitude and longitude from your check-in. Yeah. I'm just letting you know some real – and then – Hey, even people that complete it, FOMO, not everybody goes from the, from the, you know, the beginning yeah. to the end, right? Yeah, because you're Great. collecting stamps. All the way through. And now you know. Right. You're like, hey. Yeah. Can't and be then, like I, I, I climbed Mount Everest, you know. And, correct. Yeah. So you understand my point, though. Same thing. Yeah. Like eventually, it's like, where's my QR code, man? I'm I'm hiking this. I made it here, 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 and here. You, there's certain rewards. Now you get so many stamps. I don't know. Maybe a hiking company that's online. You qualify for a certain percentage off for jackets and tents and winter gear and hiking boots. We're tracking. It, you know what's cool? It's not like you even have to live in this area. So say you found, you know, because we look at things like Sergeant Appalachian, right? Imagine you found a sergeant in Appalachian, something like that. I'm sure there's some down in between there, right? These that's what these are, the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, you could take that, right? You're you're using that idea, and that's how you're going and monstering my city, right? right. That's how you're doing it. Listen to me. I'm not going hiking. I'm not picking Appalachian. I'm just giving you guys an idea. We're just throwing it out there to say, hey, yes. If you're interested, if you have some activity, if you have interest in that. I say the check-in button on that is pretty incredible. Right. So I'll even go one different. I'll go if you're an expert skier and you're in Aspen. Mm. Imagine every single uh, before you went down the slope had a signage. You know, you know, before you go down, it's like a flat area before you tr choose a trail. Yes. What eventually if every trail had a had a sticker? Absolutely. And all of a sudden, I went to Vail. Oh yeah, would you ski? I skied. No, no, no. What did you ski? I want to see your stamp. Your stamp. I, oh, yeah, man. I hit 15 out of 20. Okay, great. I did 20, 20. I did all 20. Yeah. Okay. I did this. I did that. It is. So very eventually, true. I'm not saying this. This is really cool. It just popped into my mind. Imagine you're hanging out with your friends. I'm hanging out with Judge, and we love to ski. You know, we want to brag. Imagine you can check in at the top, and then when you get to the bottom, you check in again. And you know from the signage what time you you scan the top and what time you scan the bottom. There you go. Right. Hey man, it took me eight and a half minutes to get down. What it can, you know, what I'm saying just some fun stuff. Sure. And along the way, maybe it's a it's a more scenic route on the trail, and maybe you have to collect eight or nine things before you get down. Does that make sense? That would be awesome. And that is that's fun. That's interactive. That's right. very uh you know, uh very cool. Because like you talk about experiences, right? That's yeah. Yes. Again, 100%.
Yeah. You know, the whole thing about Pokemon, and I bring up Pokemon, it got families together. And my brother's uh, daughter, uh, she's been getting into Pokemon. So we go over there the other day, and Hatsack and I went to Paris. And you can only get mimes in Paris. Mimes? There's no other mimes. The, you know, the, the mimes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only mimes in Paris, France. No, you no. want a mime? You have to be in Paris. What? Listen to me. It's, it's to the region. Oh, okay. you okay. cannot get a mine any other place than Paris, France. So if you go to somebody who has uh, Pokemon, which I do, uh, and I'm not going to load it up right now, I can show you my mimes. I think I got like 12 mimes. So Hatsack and I are walking to the Eiffel Tower, and you know, you're playing Pokemon and we're walking along, and all of a sudden, off to the distance, you'd see a mine. Oh, so we would actually walk into the neighborhoods. And go get a mine. So same concept. It could eventually be the monster trail on the Appalachian Trail. So it could be a hiking thing. It could be cruises. They can have some fun for cruises. Hey, did you play ping pong? Did you watch a movie? Did you do this? Your activities. The people with the most activity. That 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 that. I mean, it's a fun experience. Yeah, when they get off at port, they get some kind of half off on one of the experiences at port, right? Now you just remind me something. Say you're on a cruise ship. I don't know if anybody's taking a cruise. I took a cruise with Hatsack. You know, you have the safety thing. Everybody has to put on their life jacket and we go into the, you know, theater. If you've been in a cruise, you have to have a safety meeting. I don't know. Maybe there's a check-in to the safety meetings when you leave, okay, or when you arrive, that you have to be there for the safety meeting. Right. So that's pretty interesting. So imagine that. Hey, you need to be at this meeting. Scan the check-in. I don't need a sign up list. I don't need you need to check in your meeting. So it's just an interesting concept. It so is. there's the skiing, there's some ideas. Now you brought up one of the other things the other day, champagne. Who mentioned, I think it was you, Sniper. You had mentioned champagne. Yes. Yep. It was yeah. So um I'm fortunate enough that when I got uh when I planned for Napa, eh, <laughs> eh, yeah. I got I got champagne France too. That's beautiful. Look at that. So what's my strategy? Well, I was picking up wine, and I'm thinking to myself, what's the other beverage that's one of the most drunk drank beverages in the world? It's champagne. And mm. it's only champagne in France. It's sparkling wine in other places. You can only call it champagne when it's made from France, and it's made from that section. So those are the things I think about when we talk about strategies. So yeah. once again, you know, my DMs are always open. Questions in here are always open. Ask mm -hmm. questions. What's your strategy? Why'd you pick that state? Why are you picking the beach? Why'd you pick California? Why'd you pick Nevada? Why'd you pick this? Those are things. Activity, GMs, fun, place right. up your visit, bucket list. I mean, we can have a bucket list. Right. So on Monster Global Network, say we eventually launch the travel. We're going to have to invite Killington Snow, Lake Placid to be part of it. And if they license their likeness of the cities, then they get a little percentage as we book the events. Does oh, that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Just a little, hey, you got the Killington. What are you doing with it? Yeah. Right? What are you doing with it? Well, I'm not doing anything. I just like Killington. Well, would you like to do something with it? Right. Pick up a blank percent. It ain't going to be 10, so everybody calm down. It's going to be in the half percents in ones. Just chill out. It's He's going to be half percent. It's going to be a little snippet. It's what it's that's, not even, uh, that's not even enough to get my my beak wet there, FOMO. Come on, man. Let him wet their beak, FOMO. Hey, I'll talk to the Killington guy later. <laughs> you know, maybe I'll throw him in the lake or something. But oh, you know there, what I'm saying? There you go. Lake right. Lake Placid. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Have some fun. Now, Ray Light, did you, did you dress any destination monster? Do you have one destination monster that sure. you like? Sure, I, I have Clearwater, Florida. Yes. Do you like Clearwater? It's a yes. It's one of the best beaches. Well, you know, it's one of the best beaches in Florida. Yes, beautiful. Okay. Right, yeah. Judge. Do you have a destination? Any destination monsters? I own monsters that aren't near me. Yeah, but not because I thought they were they were uh, vanity destinations. Okay, gotcha. Sniper, do you have any destination monsters? I do. I do. I, I, absolutely. You know, I do. And I've, I've got some weird ones. So um, I, I was talking on space the other day 
Ray, Ray's laughing. He, he does. No, well, you said you got some weird ones. Sorry, man. We already knew you got some weird ones. Okay. That was a preamp. We already know you got some weird ones. I've got one that I'm super excited about, and it's got a population of 42 people. And you're mm-hmm. like, wow, what? Why would you do that, sniper? Well, the 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 destination that I picked is called Bay Lake. Bay Lake is a little bitty lake that just happens to be in the smack dab middle of Walt Disney World. Mm. So anytime anybody's walking around Walt Disney World, I know there's places around Walt Disney World that that are cool places to grab. But while I was looking at the map, I seen this little bee lake called Bay Lake. And I'm like, dude, that's right in the middle of everything. Like you can see Epcot and all this stuff. And that's why it's only got a population of 42, because nobody can live there. They have very few people that live actually on site in Walt Disney World. I guess they claim residency there. So my idea, my strategy with this is if there's ever anything at Walt Disney World and they're pull up the app and they're looking at this map, they're going to be like, oh, wow, look, there's a freaking beacon right in the middle of the freaking park. And that monster is going to get a bunch of attention, a bunch of clicks on it. They're going to pull it up and look at it and all that stuff. So um, plus it's close to Orlando. We know that the Orlando is a travel destination, and I think there will be crypto events in Orlando pretty soon. So that gets me a beacon close to Orlando that's going to be receiving some GM. So, yeah, I've, str- I've strategically placed the monsters around um, destination places like that. Do you mind if I look it up? I didn't know it was exactly yeah. that. That's pretty yeah, cool. Go for it. Go for it. I'm, just gonna, I'm, just, I'm not going to pull up the, the monster one, just the regular Google Maps. But that is true. If it's smack dab in the, in the middle of Disney, Sniper, that's a pretty good idea. That's, that's why his name is Sniper. That is, is exactly why his name is Sniper. Hold on. What is that? What do you come on? Not now. What's wrong with you? Google Maps. So let's zoom out here. I was muted there. That's like trying to get Central Park, New York. Right. You know, you, can, yep. you can't get Central Park. Right now, most New York is, is locked up as P1 and very rare to get it. Someone did score Chinatown, New York. Oh, Chinatown has been registered. I don't know who it is, but I'm, you know, being in the area, I was definitely looking around how to get close to New York, and Chinatown was registered. Wow. So there's yeah. Disney. You guys zoom in. Remember, yeah. population 42. You got to go. I what you're, you're talking. Here it is, right there. Bam. So, so what, here's what here's what he's talking about, right? This over here, oh, look at that is, space mountain. Everything is yeah. right here. This is the monorail that goes around all of the Disney park. So, and then here over here, what park is this? Um, oh, so this is Fort Wilderness. This is one of the resorts, right? Um, yeah, crazy, bro. Uh, Polynesian, another resort. Um, yeah, these are all uh, the resorts, and it is that's Magic Kingdom, and uh. Dude, that's, that's, that's the Bay Lake. Where's the actually city of Bay Lake? Where would be the? Uh, no, I'm sure it's like here. I'm sure, like he said, there's only four. There's only it's just Disney people that are just having their name there. There's no there's no residents there. Closest residence is Celebration, which which Disney claims, right? But you get out here. Sniper, um, Sniper may also have Celebration too. I'm not gonna <laughs> just say it. it may happen. <laughs> nice. But that, that's literally, if, if you ever seen the uh, Stepford Wives, that movie, uh, and it's not like this. But that's celebration because it's all like like old school. They got little cafes and coffee houses. It's very, uh, an, you know, antiquated, like a like an old-timey place. And it, everything's there. Grocery stores, you know, grocery stores. Everything is on celebration. But I'm taking a vacation to celebration. <laughs> Disney, Disney Yacht Club Resort. But, yeah, I mean, this is that's, pre- that's pretty cool, Sniper. Yeah, I wasn't thinking what you were saying. But, uh, yeah, I mean. You got Magic King because I mean Disney. People don't realize how big Disney is. Is a huge like it's this whole area right here, right? It's a pretty yep. huge swath of land because they've been building out out the way. But right there, you see that's Magic Kingdom, and this is the lake he's talking about right there. That's pretty cool, man. Great job. You can, you can see right below that it actually says Bay Lake if you just yeah. get down just a little right there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. But there's the actual lake. But yeah, I mean. Yep. I, I can tell you there's there's no houses built here. I know that. Because uh yeah, they don't it's all resorts, man. Because you come through the gate, right? When you come through this this gate right there. I mean, there you go, man. Um, it's world 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 drive, and that's what that is. And you're going into Disney and all it's great snipe, snipe. Yeah, very good, man. Because like you said, I mean, who what what kind of nobody's gonna have events at Disney, you know? <laughs> there's gonna be some events going on at Disney. 
uh, very, very cool. Well, I heard, I heard a rumor that Universal is actually expanding, and there's a park called Monster Park or something. Yes, that's, it is. <laughs> it's, it's I heard a, something to the great bomb. It's that's what it says. It's actually it has a portal. <laughs> it's amazing. Do me a favor, Ray. Since you got that, let's go to Roswell, New Mexico. Ros, oh, oh! <laughs> don't be messed. I don't know if I Area want to Fifty-One, maybe. Yeah, yes, I don't want to be, be doing this kind of stuff there, FOMO. Calm just down, guys. Know. Just go to Roswell, the city. I know. I'll make you guys laugh. So that's an up in by Vegas, yeah. I don't know where it is, Roswell. Well, Roswell. Yeah, there it is. Second Mac- window. Yep. There it is. So you make it out. Okay, so right there. I mean, it's up in the boonies. It's definitely in the boonies. This is it right here. Right. Well, there's El Pat. Here's El Paso. Right. There's Albuquerque. Right. This, right. Yeah. So to Sniper's uh, conversation, everybody knows that I'm known as FOMO 51. So I had to pick up Roswell. Roswell. Who That's else right. doesn't want a monster in Roswell? And so where other- is that? Don't they have like where's the little thing where they do the little uh you know with the aliens? I have no <laughs> idea. Area fifty one, just outside of Roswell. I know well area fit that. That's different. I'm talking about Roswell. Roswell, they they have where they uh oh, there's a sign right there when your mouse goes to left, it says Roswell, New Mexico. Go to the left a little bit on that road. Keep on right there, stop. Right there, green. It says mm-hmm. Roswell, New Mexico, welcome sign. Okay, that's all I was saying. It's uh, yeah, yeah. So you got the little spaceship. Yep, there you go. So, and you got a little spaceship. Oh look, so there you go. There it is. They found them. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's it, man. See. Now it says thanks for visiting. Are they talking to the aliens or the, the humans that are <laughs> probably showing? Probably the humans. There you probably. go. See? Probably yeah, the humans. Probably. It's restricted. Right. <laughs> so I dressed that, and uh, it's got a few uh, GMs already. All I can tell you. That's nice. It has more GMs than Phoenix. Hey, you see all the stickers? You might want to put a QR code there. You know what? 100%. You might want to put a QR code there right there, Volvo. It's one of the yellow posts right there. Yeah. Check in. Get a stamp. All the alien fanatics, if you check in, you know, you might get something. You might have a chance to visit Area 51. I know some people. We'll introduce you to one of the aliens. Right. Yeah. So, go. and then that, uh, that, that picture you got right there would actually be a cool stamp. <laughs> it's a cool stamp. Yeah. That is. So, that's some fun thing which Sniper was talking about. It's not always a destination, it's in the middle of what the destination is. Right. And uh, you can't go bad with Roswell. So, Roswell is kind of exciting for me. There you go. It's cool. And it's not too far from you. Yeah. No, I haven't visited yet either. But now I have a reason to, to put awesome. a bunch of stamps everywhere. Yeah, there you go. That's a very good idea. So travel. Pins. What do you call that red thing? Is that called the pin on a map? It's a pin. Yes. Right. So, you know, maybe like we talk about collection of stamps, but maybe there's pins. Maybe you can, you should, you should add, you should see how you add your website. You should add add it right there. Wow. That's crazy. (laughs) But monster global network website. Or well, just, I, or there just, might be some things I can help you sh- show you. Uh, you probably will. That would be behind the scenes. I thank you very much. This is, is that too much alpha? Is that what you said? Too much alpha. <laughs> I'm just giving people little t- tidbits. You know, like you know when you get a muffin. I don't know if you guys you ever eat a muffin. I have. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. You ever rip the top of the muffin off? Because that's the best part. It's called muffin, the muffin top. top. Yes. Yeah. I eat muffin tops. I don't eat the cake in the little sleeve. I'm a muffin, muffin, muffin tot, whatever the hell I said. What the hell is that? My lips a, just broke. That's a good segue I, from uh, Roswell to muffin tops. Yeah. That's, you know, <laughs> they gave me a little bit of sugar. I need a sugar rush right now. Well, there. they do look like the UFO, so it's not that bad. There you go. That's why it popped into my body. That's, that's what I got. Thank you, Ray I can, Light. I can that's make the Frank, connection now. Judge, that's what friends do. They put the connection there because they know you. I, I, I'm just trying to follow along. So yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking notes. Like right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. So that there you go. Just a little bit. That's my offer for today. You can continue. Start looking around. Visit where you want to visit, where families come from, or what, the, what you feel is going to be uh, imperative with what's coming up in the world. 
It is. You know, look, Aspen would be cool. You know, that's Aspen great, would be cool. That's a great place to to have a, a monster. You know what I mean? 100%. Look at all look at all those ski resorts. You know? Yeah. There's buttermilk. Nothing huh? wrong with buttermilk. Ski resort, buttermilk ski resort. No. Right to the left of Aspen. Aspen. Right Butter. Buttermilk. Look at. I mean, but I'm just saying. Do you see all this? This is a lot, yeah. right? That is but a lot. Very good place. So. So little things for the people like the ski, water parks, uh, uh, just tons of things going around. Just yeah, like, just get the just get the creative juices going. It's fun. That's what right. I'm saying. I mean, even too what you just said with the Appalachian Trail. That's um, interesting. You're incredible. You can make it. You can gamify it. Right. You already have the tools. Right now, I know it says it in the description. That's that's what that's what's amazing is all you you know are doing really is taking any kind of Web two business and just kind of transferring it over to Web three. Now it's the same thing. If you go to Monster My City, um, hey, do me a favor. Type up the city popcorn. Go back to that where you just were. Where is popcorn? He doesn't know. I think it's in Indiana. I'm not sure. It is in Indiana. I remember. Yeah, popcorn. Indiana. Yeah, popcorn, yeah. Indiana. There it is. Oh, look, big population. Yeah, I'm on the corner of Cemetery. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on the corner of Cemetery <laughs> and Popcorn. That's awesome. Let me uh, I, said, I kill for some popcorn. <laughs> Let me uh, zoom out. Look at that. Nice. So uh, where's um I'm looking for the what is it, Bloomington? That's about as close as you get, buddy. Yeah, I, I thought you were going to say I'm looking for butter. <laughs> he said Bloomington. I was like, thank God he didn't say butter. But look, that's that's got to put popcorn pretty, and butter together. That's actually pretty close to uh, Indianapolis. It's it's up there to the north states, and you're close to Louisville. So you're 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 going to collect GMs from from um, you know anything yeah, right between there. Either one of those. Right. So. And what so I want to say about it's, popcorn, it's no Bay Lake, but it's a good good. Right. Good and what I'm saying about popcorn. Now I own, I think I own Sergeant Popcorn and Captain Popcorn. I can see that on one of those big tins during the holidays, the whole entire tin dressed with monsters with the QR code for the game. Maybe almost like a board game on the can with with things to go around and you get different stickers for the popcorn. So it's just an idea, just a little fun little invention. So yeah. yes, I have I have popcorn. There's only one popcorn in the world and FOMO you, you know what's funny is I clicked on it and they don't even have an image, FOMO. So you need, you need to get some images of popcorn there. Hey, I'm just saying that's very unique. Seriously. Right. You, people don't know to how, really how to use Google, right? Maybe you could literally... Hold it. Is that Yellowstone or is that not Yellowstone? That's not real Yellowstone. What? Yellowstone? No, that's, no, no. That's not real. No. That's, all, that's, west, that's the out west. That's here. Right. I got uh, something here. Yeah, that, that's a, you, should, you should plan a trip to Yellowstone, Indiana. I'm not planning a trip. I'm not going to Yellowstone, Indiana. Yeah. We're in Yellowstone, Indiana. So, but I do like the thing that you said, Bloomington, and now I see the other Bedford down there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, man. So that's I'm just like, saying, you like know, Ray Grab in Manhattan. Right. But Popcorn was the city for the name, Popcorn, Indiana. It's kind of cool. Yeah. You see something, you know, with popcorn on it. Love it, man. So those are just little things I've, you know, I like the words. No, it, well, it, like you said, it's just great ideas. That's all. No, we, we go ahead. We just passed something. Can you put up Christmas or no? Put up Santa. Santa. Santa Claus. Look at that. Are you there's Indiana? A Santa Claus in Indiana. And there's a Santa Claus. Uh, so there's a Santa Claus. There you go. Santa, look at Santa's Lodge. Wow, I didn't even know that. Santa. Look, that's, has where they, that's where they train Santas. Did you and see that? Christmas Lake Village. That's, they train them. Oh no, those are kids. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes you have to zip line from house to house on power lines. <laughs> I thought they were training. I thought they were training. They're training, training hell. They're training <laughs> hills, Bob. Uh, those are kids. That's <laughs> Santa's Lodge. That's child labor. They're training them to bring you cocoa. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Look at look at this. Uh, breaking news. Breaking news. Bitcoin taking off. Forty five thousand. Let's go over. Let's thank nice. you, Scott McHenry. Let me jump over there. Um, let's take a look. Let me uh, pull up Coin Gecko. Is something, something happening? Oh, uh, something's oh, happening. It's I'm happening. Is it happening? It is happening, right? We're we're looking we're looking at till tomorrow, maybe for the ETF. Look at this. Let's look at this. Let's zoom out. Look at that. 
Look at Bitcoin. Almost look at it. It's, it's, it's pumping. Look yeah. at this. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's doing its thing. Solana's moving. Avalanche is moving. Yeah, they're all moving. That's what happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh baby, you said 2024 was gonna be great. Look, oh. look at that ETH jump, five percent. Oh. Well, ETH, ETH. That's right. Did you say ETH? Yeah, yeah. 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 five point three over the last seven days. Oh yeah, man. No, it, it's gonna do its thing. That's what's cool. ETH is just chilling right now. Wait till it all switches. Wait from you know this ETF gets passed, everybody bloop going right there, right? <laughs> it's going right to the next one. What's the next ETF? Yeah. Uh, very cool. Solana, yes. Everything's going, man. Uh, let's see down here a little more. Got Avalanche, another one, 8%. That's another great one. Um, again, I'm not giving you financial advice, but yes, it is pumping, right? And yeah, you get down here. This is some cool stuff, right? Wow. So something's happening. Thank you, Scott. And uh, let me see through. go through here some more. Uh, good evening. Good evening. It is a monster invasion. That's happening. And yes, good evening, Craig. Happy Happy New Year to you, brother. Uh, is there stamps? I, Apex. I don't know. Do you maybe maybe you can uh, post it up or something, man? Let me know. Is there a stamp? Do we have a stamp? Let's check it out. I wonder. Dan. Hello. Happy New Year, brother. Good to see you. GM GM fam. Yes. Happy New Year, Michelle. Good to see you. Love the ideas, FOMO. Makes me think of all the concert ticket subs. AI, uh, they say she saved and packed away in the closets. Look at that, right? Concerts, yeah. right? Fest, did you call it festivals? Did you I say like a festival? Yeah, it's a festival. Buenas noches, gorgeous people. Happy New Year, Marisha. Uh, gonna be a great 2024. KP Queen, happy new year, fam. Good to see you. And we are, uh, here it is 2024, Ariel. Big time. This is a great year. Where are the stairs? <laughs> Where ask Apex, uh, Marisha. I'm, I'm happy to uh post it up. Anybody back got some on the back end? I don't know. You get sometimes you get messages, you need to check your messages. So, I've been watching, I've been watching. I hadn't seen anything come across the table, and uh, they had a big night. I mean, they deserve to party just like we all deserve to party, you know. So, absolutely. Um, we, we, we kind of encourage them to take, take it easy today. I know yeah. that little cowboy, I told him, I was like, play some music. Go watch some football. It's a big football day. This Texas Longhorns are playing. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah. I hadn't seen anything come across the table. Hadn't seen the uh, event update on the app. Um, usually that's a good indicator that a new stamp is coming soon is, is when that event updates. So. But who knows? By the end of the show, you never know. You got to stay active. I do want to check into this because this is the entire crypto market cap um, is getting there. So everybody, last bull run. This was at um, a little over three trillion. You see this? This is what we experienced in 2021. This 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 big topping right here, and we're a little more than halfway. So we still got room just to get to the back to the all time high of the entire market cap. And remember, Tim, we used to do this. Uh, people don't even see the speed bump back here, right? Back here. Yep. I know you don't see it, but there was there was one of these. See how little that was back in 2018, though. That was tremendous. That was excitement. That was FOMO, right? Then you get here. And, and then people saw it go down and they were like, that's it. It's over. Ah! Never, never going to come back. And then what, two years later, yep. it comes back like you wouldn't believe. And now that that's speed bump that you just pointed out in 18. Yep. In two years, you yep. won't see that. It'll it's look gonna like look, it. it's going to look I'm, like to the left. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to make this bigger. It's going to look like this. Look at that. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I zoomed in. And there you go, right? This is what's what we're talking about. It's crazy. The top there, 15 billion, right? Big deal though. Back in 2013 in December, yeah, 15 billion dollars. It's no joke. Bitcoin was a, uh, you know, my, maybe a thousand, maybe well, you, 800. You, you remember the? Well, it should say it right there, right? Now, well, this is total market cap of the crypto market. Are oh, you talking about market cap? But the yeah. price should. Price should be there. What is that? Three bucks? What is it? I can't. Yeah, read but this it. is this is the entire crypto market cap, not not just Bitcoin. Oh, okay. I got I have I have the market cap of see up here total total crypto. Gotcha. So yeah, it's crazy, man. That's that's the point. Let me re refresh. But that was that speed bump that you don't even see anymore, right? That's why I want to look at that. That is there. You see that? Nothing. Yep. 
It's like a little nothing. <laughs> and what Tim's talking about is the next one when we pump is going to look like it's going to go look like it's going to flatten out, like just like that. Crazy, um, because this next one, this is going to be like no other. And again, I'm not trying to hype, but uh, we're talking about uh, BlackRock, twelve other huge. Um, well, Ray, if you were one of those chart fanatics, right? You look, you you tried to find the speed bump in the early part of the chart. You just pointed out 18. How much bigger is the one, the last one we're looking at, right? Yeah. Than yeah. the than the first speed bump that we can see on the chart. Right. right? So, so is, is that two or three times? Two just or three. looking so, chart wise, yeah. chart guys, right? You go, yeah. okay, we pumped in 18 and we got this far, and then we pumped in 2021. And we got this far. So where's the next pump going to go? Two or three times what that was, which was yeah. what the high was 65, 68. Yeah. So like this that. was under a trillion. So more than three times. Close. But yeah, I'd say, you know, a little three and a half. But yes, you're right. So go to here. You're talking about three trillion, nine, ten trillion. Yep. Mm. But that's it. why we keep saying this is going to hit different is because, again, that's just all of these other ones. This was retail. It's regular people, right? And of course, there's some sprinkled in ridiculously wealthy and 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 kind mm -hmm. of people play. But it's never been uh, institutions, right? Where you're talking about. That's why we show you all the difference of types of money um, that are in different things, from from gold to real estate to derivatives. Um, it's crazy, man. Um, so that I, I'm just saying, um, again, while you keep hearing people is going to hit different, this is going to be different, right? And and yeah. Uh, we all talk about the mass adoption and why this one could be a little bit more of a, like a, what do we call it? The uh, El Nino. <laughs> like, it's, it's like the El Nino of, of crypto, but in a good way. I know we talk about with storms and all that, but yes, it's going to be a little different. There's, there's, there's huge amounts of money. Again, this has all just been really regular people kind of playing around. These are the pioneers, right? All doing this, playing around, figuring out the space, building um, tools, make it a little easier. And now, this one is adoption, right? That we're getting into. So just wanted to look at that because it's a, uh, it's getting to be a little, a little crazy. That's why Scott, I'm glad you, you know, you piped in and talked about that because, yeah, I mean, you're gonna see. Look at these things. This is what we laugh at. That's a, a nice little spike right there, right? And now you're seeing ETH. ETH is hitting it now, right there. So yeah, exciting, uh, great space to be in. Um, the, what the better idea is what Sniper kind of hit it off with is you better get with a group. And what we're talking about is is the monsters, right? And and it's it's great to be um, with a group that uh, cares about you know what what's going on, teaches, builds, um, does a lot of amazing things, and also cares about you know changing the world for the better, right? Uh, it is kind of the thing that they're uh, really all about. So better get with somebody and uh, you know ride this wave um, as far as you can because it's going to be a a wild ride, right? Appreciate you guys. Absolutely. Hey, I don't know if there's anybody uh can does any can anybody play uh, music over there? Because I just needed to kind of do some stuff on here and it won't let me in. Uh I, I can't play my audio. So I don't know. Are you able to go up as a speaker or at all, Tim, and then just play a little bit of music for like 30 minutes or no? On on spaces? Yeah. Um no, it's all right. You want me to play music? Yeah, I I'll I'll give you the, the playlist. Yeah, you, you're just. I got stuff that's Creative Commons. You hey, know? do me a favor. Just put it in my call. I can do it while I'm doing paperwork. Yeah, it's Wait, all right, man. Hey, dude, it'll take two seconds. I'm on what? Twitter Spaces. Okay. I'm not a speaker. Uh, let me go up to speak. Uh, have somebody give me the speaker. You're a co host. Make me a speaker. Okay. Once you make me the speaker, it says error, sending it out. Let's try one more time. Request sent. I'm looking. And while you guys are doing that, I'm going to play uh, a little bit of entertainment. because I, I think you guys saw it, but I'll play it for everybody again. A yeah. Egg challenge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show your egg. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Now, I've been challenged by none other than Sir Francis. To do the egg challenge, I'll take one nice egg, brand new for the brand new year, put it on the spoon for carrying. Not some Texas spoon, that stuff that went on over there, I don't understand it. This is a real standard spoon. 
the uh, beautiful egg you saw go on there. And we're going to do the walk around the table a few times. That's the challenge. But it's New Year's Eve. So we got to make it better. Step it up a notch. All right? One thing that FOMO knows in the restaurant business is you don't look at the egg. You make eye contact all the time with your guests. You don't look at the beers on your tray. You walk with the egg. You look at what's going on around you. It's no problem. But, like I said, being in the service industry for a long time, I've done this. So, we're going to add it up a notch. We're going to take the beer and walk around with the egg on the spoon. Looking around, seeing what's going on. That's how it's done. Walking with the egg, maybe a little faster. You know, pick it up a notch. We got people in the bar, we got people in the back. Sans Easy Brothers needs another server. I'm your man. I don't drop the egg, I don't drop the beer. And like I said, Happy New Year, people. 2024 in the house. TJ's Tavern. The monsters are going to make it happen this year. We're going to stamp out so much. SoFi. SoFi Gaming. SoFi. We're going to kill traditional finance. We're going to do the gaming. Collect the stamps. SOS. Send our stamps. Wrap it up. Drink it up. That's right. SOS. There you go. And actually, you know, I, I did uh, say that one. You know, show us the stamps, but it should be share our stamps, right? Everybody wants to share, yep. share the stamps. Yep, it is. Yeah, but that was a lot of fun. And of course, I called FOMO out. He knows that he's going to do his. But um, yeah, now I guess I have to, if I uh, participate in the next challenge, I got to do it with beer in my head. That's like my baseline now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's good because you had a couple things going on there, man. Yeah. And I did. I When I did it, I did it, I guess, not right. I'm sitting there staring at my egg, man. Yeah. Well, that they teach you that in the restaurant. You, you, if you right. stare at the stuff on your tray, you're going to end up, you know, looking at it start to wobble, and then you overcompensate and you crash. Right. So yeah, right. don't don't look at it. Just walk walk naturally. I got you. And uh, I will point out that I'm right handed, and I was carrying that that egg in my left hand. Oh, look at that! Even more skill. Hey, we have difficulty. Just you know, I gave you a good playlist. I gave. I don't know if you. I you have it. it. I'm ready to play it. Okay. All good, man. No, awesome. You know, so I appreciate everyone. Happy New Year, Tim. That was awesome. The egg challenge, FOMO. I appreciate all the the, the, the you know Alpha and Sniper. Some of you guys' ideas showing that that's really cool because uh, people you know get get some ideas from what these guys are doing and uh, now expand. There's so much you could do. Um, it is an infinite uh, you know cases of uh, possibilities. So very cool, awesome biggest, stuff. Biggest biggest piece of Alpha I'll give. It's surrounded around all that. Is don't place a beacon somewhere and expect somebody else to work for you. That's right. That's right. If you're going to put it there, get yeah. ready to put in the work behind it too. FOMO, I got one in Phoenix. You know, I got your back and you know, I'm going to help promote anything you got going on. So appreciate it, brother. Dude, I'm excited. Oh, monsters. Yep. hundred percent. Appreciate that. Mauricio Des. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, put us all around there uh, in these other different uh, platforms, Twitter, Facebook, all these places. But right on, you're right. Exactly, Sniper. This is what it's about. It's our, it's our job to get this out there, right? So appreciate that. That's great. And uh, yeah, you guys. Happy we going to be day. back tomorrow night, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'll right? go over uh, I'll go over how I I do Ooh. my monsters. There you yeah, go. When you, you get a chance, you light, you unmute me. You can do it with a beer on your head the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> that's too easy because I'd be sitting here. It's nothing. Yeah. No, and that's that's great because that's what you know. People, you know, they're going to appreciate that because yeah. there, there's a lot of things and yeah, amazing ideas from from all of you, right? It's cool, good stuff. So we will see you. Happy New Year, guys! Appreciate Absolutely, you happy New Year.